Yeah. I'm doing good about yourself. Yeah. All right. Give us some encouragement. Encouragement? <laughs> okay, let's see if we can find it. <laughs> Basketball season is getting ready to start. <laughs> Well, we would have had five returners. Um, we had one kid to transfer. Uh, looks like Sidney Williams was injured in football, so he's supposed to have shoulder surgery. So we'll probably have three players back this year that has some experience. Look at trying to find a substitution for that experience. Does it come from your JV team? Does it come from guys who were able to be with you during the summertime, uh, during the camps or the June period to where you got a chance to work with your JV and your varsity together? Well, it'll, be, it'll come from the freshmen and the and, uh, sophomores. We have a lot of athletes there. and. They're actually wanting to come out, so I'm gonna give them that opportunity. But we also have some kids that are like seniors and juniors, hadn't played in a couple of years, and now they're saying they want to come out. So I'll take a look at them and just see where and how we can plug players in. Having reached Alabama State last season with Corey and Frazier and Nick Watts, both of them moved on to the next level. Uh, what are your expectations with this group? And, oh, man, just dealing with the daily rigors of being at, out there in Pritchard. Okay, well, the kids seem positive. They're trying to keep the momentum going. Um, I'm hoping that we're able to do that. Um, Aaron Mitchell is really pushing, and he, he's worked hard. Devontae Harris is out there with football. But we have a lot of kids that will be coming out from football. So. We're just going to have to see how we can maintain. Coach, uh, you know, like KT said, losing a, a couple of your good star players from last season, uh, which is tremendous because they're playing at the next level in some capacity. What, what should we be? Do you have an individual uh, that has the pedigree that a Colin Bray Frazier had last season that you'll be on the court this year? Well, Aaron Mitchell is pretty good. He can he can shoot the ball pretty well. Um, we have a sophomore in Larry Ruffin. Um, I think he, in the future he's going to be able to fill any of those shoes if he could just stay focused and, and, and just follow the program. I mean, he he has the ability to really be a stud. Uh, just seeing how disciplined they are when they come out and, and can they follow instructions and do the things that they are supposed to do in order to improve their game. If they're going to get in the gym and really work hard and, and, and develop as basketball players. All right, thank you guys. All right, you're welcome.